Welcome to the WW Fan Zone Show. I am Stuart Sternberg and joined tonight by Darling Nagy and Jess. And tonight we've got the news for you and whatever is current going on at Walt Disney World and elsewhere in Disney. Uh, but before we get into the news portion of the show, I do want to mention our official travel planner, and that is Mouse Van Travel. So whether it's Walt Disney World, a Disneyland trip, so going left coast or west, east coast to west coast or right coast to left coast, uh, if you want to take a Disney cruise line, uh, they travel out of Miami, Port Canaveral here in the Orlando area, and elsewhere in the States and overseas, fun times on a Disney cruise. So that's something else you could look into with Mass Fan Travel, or if you want to go on an adventure by Disney, go to different parts of the world and have things done the right way, the best way, with a great tour guide. And Mass Fan Travel does it all because they are the best. There are other travel planners out there that pretend to be good, but nobody, and I mean nobody, does travel planning and customer service like Mass Fan Travel. And no one is as well informed about places of travel anywhere and everywhere across the globe like Mass Fan Travel. So if you want a great vacation, going your way, the right way, the only way, the very best way, go to their website, look at all the great deals they've got going on, and contact Mass Fan Travel ASAP to get a head start on your next vacation, whether it's a month from now or 2023 Walt Disney World vacation. They can do it all for you and get you where you want to be, how you want to be there, when you want to be there. And all you've got to do is go to www.mousefantravel.com. That is www.mousefantravel.com. And Darlene, um, you know somebody who's selling a lot of homes. I think they just hit their 200th house sale. Oh, that's fantastic. So, and we are talking about our dear friend, Victor Naraki. He is the realtor that we used and he specializes in all the communities surrounding Walt Disney World and a little further if you need or closer, depending on whichever way you want to go. And it's new construction, resale, second homes, retirement homes. Uh, just visit him at DisneyAtYourDoorstep.com and you can search for all the homes and all of his social media accounts and even see videos of him that he does in the communities to help you decide where you want to live. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, so let's get into that. Now that we've gotten the important information out of the way, let's go to the Disney important information and just why don't you take it away? Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. So this week we have finally our COVID protocols are gone from the website. So um, it no longer has it like there right as you enter the website, but there is a link if you, if you must know um, the know before you go link under help and rules is still there. And it will give you the most recent information if you care to know. So that's about COVID restrictions or rules or anything that um, related to COVID-19. You know, anytime I open the My Disney Experience app, that was always the first thing that would come up. It's mm -hmm. not there now. Mm -hmm. so it's not there anymore. It's yes. And I, nice. I looked at it too. And it was so weird because it's like, oh, everything is right there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like if you're going to. Uh, book a reservation you don't have to scroll anymore it's right there yes so it's really it's kind of nice to not yeah. have that <laughs> i agree all right Pooh and friends are back at crystal palace so if you have a reservation there or if you'd like to make one you can have a nice character breakfast at crystal palace do they do more than breakfast or is it just yes. breakfast for Pooh and friends they, is that, they that's all day dinner they do lunch and dinner too. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so that is all day. Yeah. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner with Pooh and friends. That's right. And if you're looking for a lot of poo, you can find it right there. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Winnie That's the one Pooh. Of my favorite right restaurant. there. <laughs> Pigula, Eeyore, too, and Tigger. Yep. All right. So if you are an annual pass holder and you like to go to Typhoon Lagoon, Check out Thursdays and Saturdays in October. You may have a 45-minute early admission 
um, a complimentary towel um, rental, one per person, and three new adult beverages. So check that out Thursdays and Sundays in October at Typhoon Lagoon. And finally, Kite Tales final performance will be on September 30th, and that is in the Animal Kingdom. So September 30th is your last chance to check that out. All right. I'm glad Kite Tales is going. It was... <sighs> Unpredictable. You know, it... Uh, how can I put this? It was fun to watch for about a minute. And then it was just like, okay, I'm done. And then they yeah. shortened the show and it was still too long. But you know what? They've got to do so that That's a nice big area there. They've, they've got so much potential for that area. And we've discussed this on other shows. Um, I, I think they'll come up with something pretty good for that area at, at some point in time. I, I think they'll do something that'll really get us going and excited i think one tales, day they'll make a hit yeah I, I think kite tales was just a short gap stop for them because of covid it was just all right you know we know people are going to want to take a little break from everything else that's a nice place to just sit and, and watch something for a few minutes uh, they tried mm -hmm. all right darlene what have you got for us okay everyone um we have a new dessert at Magic Kingdom during the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Now this item, they have posted the recipe for it actually on Disney Parks blog. I've looked at the recipe and I'm not sure I would be able to make it look like this, but I was very amazed. If you go, you should try it. It's at Pecos Bill's um, a Tall Tale Inn and Cafe. It is the almond sweet corn cake. Now it looks like a corn on the cob. So you're really kind of confused mm -hmm. when you see it. It's it's it looks like corn on the cob, but it's actually a, a cake and it's not very sweet, they say. It's got a subtle, subtle corn flavor. So I'm thinking it's more like a cornbread almost. And it pairs very well with a brown sugar, um, a brown butter uh, frosting that's on there for decorating. I like the sugar batter. Yeah, I know, right? Um, and it's got white chocolate and candy corn on it too. So it's good for the fall season. Right. Um, next up for the Halloween Bites across uh, the Walt Disney World Resorts. Now, this is very, very interesting. I'm really looking forward to trying some of these, um, hopefully. All-Star Movies Resorts um, Music and uh, Sports is going to have the My Boo, which is a chocolate cupcake, and the Mickey Pumpkin Cheesecake. Disney Art of Animation is going to have Spellbound Chicken Abdu Nachos and the My Boo and a Whoopi Monster um, pie. Ooh, and I, I don't know if anybody knows what a Whoopi pie is from years ago, oh, but I I, I'm just, uh, I'm really enthused by this one because it's supposed to be a spiced apple one, which sounds really interesting with marshmallow buttercream and caramel. Might have to stop at Disney's Art of Animation just to get that. <laughs> the Mara at Animal Kingdom is going to have the pumpkin Mickey tart and a Dumela South African margarita. Yum, yum. That's for adults, by the way, children. Uh, the Beach Club Marketplace, which I will be going to the Beach Club um, October 1st, is going to have mummy cookies and scream trifle, a poison apple trifle, and the Mickey pumpkin spiced sugar cookie. Beaches and Cream um, Shop is going to have a butter pecan pumpkin shake. Now that I might have to try. Um, the Boardwalk uh, Deli is going to have a Boo Brownie and a Creepy Cupcake. Disney's Caribbean Beach is going to have the My Boo and a Topsy Turvy Chocolate and Cherries uh, chocolate cake. 
The Contempo is going to have Madame Leota's dark chocolate cake. The Coronado at Barcelona Lounge is going to have a caramel pumpkin pie cold brew. And the Three Bridges is going to have a pumpkin Mickey tart. The Gasparilla Grill, which I did try one of these, the Black Flame Candle. Um, the Black Flame Candle is a candy corn colored vanilla sponge cake with caramel buttercream and a white ganache. It was very good. I think it could have used a little bit more of the um, caramel buttercream. It, it wasn't, I, I didn't taste the caramel. It was very like subtle, but I think I love caramel. So I was thinking it was going to have more, you know, caramel. Um, the cake was very moist. Uh, they also have a bewitching mini ma uh, moose cupcake, a hocus pocus, a muck cake, and a jack o' lantern Mickey pop. So they've got a lot of choices. The mini moose, I know, <laughs> mini moose. Um, Disney's Old Key West Goods Food to Go has a mummy Mickey blondie. The Polynesian Captain Cooks has a tomato which is a chocolate chiffon cake and the pineapple lanai has a not so scary pumpkin soft serve. Now the pineapple mm -hmm. lanai, everybody knows has your traditional pineapple um, Dole Whip. So for them to have something like this for the holiday is really nice that there's a little bit of a different spin for guests that are mm -hmm. staying there. Um, Disney's Pop Century has the My Boo and a Whoopi Monster, which is again the same um, Whoopi Pop Pot. Whoopi Pop Pie. Say that three times fast. Um, Disney's Port Orleans Saskajula Float Works is going to have the My Boo and a Tombstone Sweet, uh, which is a chocolate cake with chocolate mousse and caramel milk chocolate mousse, um, dark chocolate mousse, and salted milk chocolate ganache that's a lot in there going on uh the scat clat scat scat cats club cafe i tried saying that a lot today and it's still getting me has that pumpkin spice baguettes which we all love baguettes disney's riviera la Pete. Uh, La Petite Cafe has a monster moose. Disney Saratoga has at the back scratch pool bar a bewitched cherry cone and the artist palace mummy Mickey Blondie. The Wilderness Lodge Geyser Point has a Halloween drink flight, a blood orange tequila um, drink and black magic margarita around the pumpkin patch drink, a poison apple drink. Roaring Forks has a haunted forest apple maple. Uh, it's a green cake and cookies and cream mousse and stuff. That kind of looks interesting. The Yacht Club has the mummy cookies and cream at the uh, Market Ale and Compass. Um, a poison apple trifle and a Mickey pumpkin spice. Uh, trifle or truffle? Trifle. Trifle, not truffle. Trifle. Okay. <laughs> Mickey pumpkin spice sugar cookie. Now available at select pool bars. They've got a sea witch's brew and a spice caramel apple drink. Now going on to Disney Vacation Club. So we all know. My Disney Vacation Club has the member lounges. Well, their Disney Vacation Club is now developing its first member lounge in Disneyland Resort in California. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Called Disney Vacation Club Star View Station. And anticipated to open in the first half of 2023. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, I need a drink of water. <clears throat> the new lounge will be located in the heart of Tomorrowland at Disneyland Park. The space on the second floor of the Star Wars Launch Bay building. The sleekly designed space will be home to a dedicated Disney Vacation Club member services team as well as plenty of casual seating, complimentary Wi-Fi, device charging stations, and more. The new lounge will be open daily 
scheduled hours to be eligible for Disney Vacation Club members with valid park tickets and reservations to Disneyland Park. Exclusive member spaces have long been part of the Disney Vacation Club, as we all know, um, which we prou proudly called it membership magic. From the Top of the World Lounge, which has now been rethemed for um, the villains, is at Bay Lake Tower, which is beautiful. Um, Stuart's wife and I were just there recently, and we had a very nice time. Um, and also the iconic glass pyramid in Epcot, the Imagination Pavilion, um, has a very nice area with seating in that, which I've taken Stuart up to see with Michelle and Keith. Um, we go as as often as we can when we're there. The hours normally it closes by like 6 p.m. So, um, and one more thing, Disney Cruise Line. We all know, Stuart mentioned it last week about the new uh, Disney Treasure ship name. Well, Disney um, Parks blog has put out a few videos. They're very short videos with um, from YouTube. They're like 23 seconds long, but they have a couple of like little entries of the new ship and stuff. So I'm sure if you keep your eyes open on the Disney Parks blog and go down and look for Disney Cruise Line or even on YouTube for Disney Cruise Line, they will be putting out different things. Mm -hmm. And that's it for me. All right. Okay. Uh, got a few little things here. Terminal C, Orlando's International Airport, was supposed to open this past Monday, September 19th. However, it was not completely ready but it did open today, but it's opening in a phased, um, well, it's being phased in over two weeks. So I guess not all the airlines are going to be moving in and open at Terminal C. So you want to check with your airline to see where your flight is landing or taking off from as they phase in the complete opening of the terminal. Also, Terminal C will have a Brightline train station to take you to your favorite Orlando theme parks and that is expected to open sometime in 2023. Next year, Disney will have its 100th anniversary celebration called Disney 100 Years of Wonder. The celebration begins New Year's Eve, this New Year's Eve, on Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest. At Disneyland, the Magic Happens Parade will return for the 100th anniversary, along with two new firework show shows, World of Color 1, and Wondrous Journey featuring all 60 Walt Disney Animation Studio films. And we discussed last week about the new fireworks shows coming here to Walt Disney World, so I will not repeat that now. A new nighttime show was opened this past year in Disneyland Paris called Disney Delight, and it just won the Best Live Entertainment 2022 by Park World Excellence Awards in London. And that's all the news I've got this week, so... Darlene, how about the park hours? Okay, the park hours for this week, starting Wednesday, 921 through Tuesday, 927, are as follows. Magic Kingdom tomorrow will be open for a extended evening hours from 9 to 11, and then 11 to 1 a.m. for those um, deluxe resort guests. And Thursday will be normal hours at Magic Kingdom, 9 to 11. Friday will be a party day for the uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then 7 to midnight. Saturday, normal park hours, 9 to 11. Sunday, a party from 8 to 6 and then 7 to midnight. Monday, 9 to 26, 9 to 11. And Tuesday, another party eight to six and then seven to midnight so just make sure you remember which days if you don't have a mickey's very not mickey's not so scary halloween party ticket make sure you pay attention if you're here it seems like they're every other day now because halloween is almost a month away um epcot's hours for next week are 8 30 
to 9 Wednesday through Sunday, then 8.30 to 9 with extended hours 9 to 11 on Monday the 26th, and Tuesday is 8.30 to 9. Hollywood Studios, the full week from Wednesday to thir um, Tuesday is 8.30 to 9 p.m. And um, Animal Kingdom is 8 to 7 p.m. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 8 to 8 on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And Monday and Tuesday is back to 8 to 7. Typhoon Lagoon has definitely changed their hours now. They are open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, Boardwalk is open 6.30 to 10 p.m. Disney Springs, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 to 11. The weekend, Friday and Saturday is 10 to 11.30 p.m. Sunday through Tuesday is 10 to 11. All right. Thank you, Darlene. And for the weather coming up this week at Walt Disney World, the forecast calls for daytime highs in the upper 80s to the low 90s with overnight lows in the low to mid 70s, and as always, a chance of a thunderstorm. Uh, one more thing. On this day in Disney history, it was on September 20th, 1986, NBC broadcast the special Disney's Captain EO grand opening with host Patrick Duffy of Dallas fame. And that is going to do it for us this week. We will be back later in the week with our regular show. And next week, we will have another news edition for you. So until then, everybody be safe. Bye-bye. See you real soon. Have a magical night and stay safe.